Hello there, this is Force Coach Jeremy and today I will be coming to you with a video and today's topic will be Doctor Who so let me just turn this off right for those of you who've never seen Doctor Who you've probably heard of it it is a British television show that dates back to 1963 I believe it's the longest running TV show in the world I might be wrong about that anyway the idea of Doctor Who is that it's based on this um, alien from the planet Gallifrey he's a time and space traveler he uses this thing called his TARDIS it's a spaceship cleverly disguised as a 1960s police telephone box um, and he uses it to travel throughout anywhere in space and time basically obviously because it's been made by the BBC they are limited by budget constraints they don't have the budget of Hollywood or Netflix or Amazon or anyone like that so you tend to find a lot of the episodes are based um, what it looks like the UK so you see a lot of they base a lot of the episodes in London and around the UK I believe it's filmed in Cardiff in Wales um, so anyway but it has a cult following it's a great show I've been watching it since I was a kid um, and um, one of the good ideas with the show is that the doctor no one knows his real name he's just called doctor hence the title of the show doctor who um, the doctor has this ability that if he's badly injured or is about to die he can regenerate every cell in his body and become someone new so it's a great opportunity for them to introduce a new actor into the role bring something new and because obviously as well as just physically changing that his personality will change as well so they can you know bring different actors in different personality traits and try and find things that are popular but there's always that kind of quirkiness to the role sort of there's the normally the fun to the role there's a dark side to the role as well because you never quite understand his past what happened to his in his past um, he's basically the sole survivor of his planet that was destroyed in the war with an alien race called the Daleks you've probably heard of them um, so there's always that kind of dark side to him as well and um, Another idea of the show is he always travels around with at least one companion because because he has that kind of dark edge to him as well. He needs someone to keep him in check all the time, just to kind of be his moral reasoning if he's going down the wrong route. That his companion, who's normally um, a British female, there have been some male companions as well. Sometimes there's more than one companion um, that travels with him. Um, but that's kind of the basic idea and um, each episode kind of can be different it can be him with a different alien species um, different villains there's lots of different villains in Doctor Who you've obviously got the Daleks as one you've got um, the Cybermen as another one sort of uh, robot type men um, lots of others and there have been some brilliant episodes in the last few years um, Doctor Who ran up until I believe about the 80s and then there was a big gap and then um, I can't remember what year it was now that Christopher Eccleston came back into the role and Doctor Who was rebooted um, and, he, and then David Tennant took over from him he was a brilliant actor Matt Smith then followed him again brilliant in the role um, then Peter Capaldi who was the last Doctor Who there was some people didn't like him some people did he was an older actor where the actors tend to be a bit more younger in their sort of 30s you know, 20s 30s I think Matt Smith was in his 20s when he started the role um, where Peter Capaldi I, I'm not sure his exact age but I would guess he's sort of um, in his 50s 60s something like that um, so a lot of people weren't sure with that and then there's been a, a gap of a couple of years I think and they've announced that the new Doctor Who is going to be a woman I've got nothing nothing against that at all that is fine because the whole idea is uh, the Doctor can regenerate every cell in his body so why can't he regenerate into another 
agenda, another race, you know, so that's no problems. The problem comes with identity politics. They keep bringing this into, into, into films, into TV now, and it's just getting over the top. Of course, diversity is great. I have no problem with a woman being in the role. I would have no problems if it was a black person in the role, if it was an Asian person in the role, if it was, you know, anyone else. It doesn't matter their race or their gender. It's when it is forced upon you, when they shove it down your throat all the time. And I watched the first episode, and it was, well, even before the first episode came out, the trailer for the first episode. If you've seen the trailer for the first episode, it ends with a glass ceiling breaking, coming down, breaking the glass ceiling, and it's kind of, really, did you just do that? It's just stupid. And then the, the episodes that have come in, the episodes that come in, they, they seem to be more interested in history and identity politics and telling us how bad we've all been, how bad all these white men have been, how, how racist we've all been. There's episodes about a... Um, um, uh, racism against a black woman. I've not seen the episode, so I've only watched I've read. And there's been other episodes where um, how bad um, Britons were in the, the colonies with India and stuff like that. And it's basically they're kind of preaching all this identity politics and history and everything to you. It's a sci-fi program. It's was designed for children. It's supposed to be fantasy, like Star Wars was. Star Wars was. A galaxy far far away it was not meant to mirror current politics in the real world it was meant somewhere to escape to someone to get away from all of these politics all these agendas and just be able to have a bit of fun sit down watch a film or TV program and forget about all your problems and enjoy it and unfortunately the way things like Star Wars and Doctor Who have gone it's just it's sad it's depressing I mean we go back to Star Wars you know you've only got to go and look on YouTube at people on YouTube who have been avid Star Wars followers since they were children I was I watched Star Wars when it came out I was four years old doing the match you can work out how old I am and I followed Star Wars all my life The Last Jedi came out and like a lot of people, I wanted to like it. I really wanted to like The Last Jedi. I went and saw it a second time at the cinema. And I still wasn't sure what was going on. And then I started looking at YouTube. And then you're seeing all the other people saying exactly the same thing. They've been and they've seen it. And they they want to like it, but they don't. There's too many things that have been done with it. And then you realise you're not alone. And then you see things. You Doctor Who, you watch it and you think... I don't like what they're doing with this. Even the TARDIS, they redesigned the TARDIS. Now, this is, I think this is Matt Smith's or David Tennant's TARDIS. So, it's basically designed the 1960s police box. Now, on the front here, if you see it, there's a little, there's a little sign on the front here. You can't really see it. But there's a little sign on the front. Because um, it, it, it had a little telephone inside, and you, you could call basically, you know, you could come into the here and you could call for a policeman. So, in the new series, they redesigned the police box. Instead of this sign being white with black lettering, it's now black with white lettering. Very subtle difference, but I think you see where I'm going with this. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I can't have it, can't have it can't be white could that be could that be classed as being racist if you had it as white make ha, make it black you know why why do you do these things so okay it's a little rant i probably haven't explained very well but there's a lot of videos on youtube you can go and have a look at you can make up your own mind if you want to watch the show watch the show i'm not telling you not to watch the show but if you've never watched it before go and look at the earlier episodes um, I would recommend starting with either Christopher Ecclestone or David Tennant, certainly with David Tennant, follow it through to Matt Smith. Watch those episodes, or some of those episodes. Then go and watch the new ones. 
and compare how things have changed. Now unfortunately um, I think one of the reasons why they've really gone down this identity politics route is because they are funded by the British government so they have to toe the line they have to do what they're told and if they're not being diverse enough then they have to do what they're being told you know, this forced diversity thing is getting ridiculous just the other day just to end on this note there is an article in the news that uh, this great British comedian, the guy called Lenny Henry, he's a black comedian. If you haven't seen him, go and look him up on YouTube. He's he's really good. I like him. Him along with several other people, including the new lead of Doctor Who, went to Downing Street, the head of British government, with a petition asking them to give tax reliefs to film and TV companies that have more diversity in the people that they employ. Let's let that sink in for a little bit. Yeah, more diversity. Uh, uh, tax reliefs, sorry, for if they employ more diverse people. Why? Surely you employ the best person for the job. It doesn't matter what race, gender, sex, colour of their skin. It doesn't matter as long as it's the best person for the job. Now if you refuse to give someone the job purely on the colour of their skin for example that is wrong, that's racism and I completely agree with that, that's racism. However if you go the other way if you give someone a job because you have to choose someone who's from a diverse background rather than giving the job to the person who's actually got the best credentials for that role that is also very wrong you should not employ someone simply to fill your diversity quota and it blows my mind what are these people thinking of yes I agree there should be more people from diverse backgrounds in the entertainment industry but you don't just give someone a job because they're, they're from a diverse background you give them a job because they are the best person for that job so on that note I'll leave you to this um, I've enjoyed my little rant it kind of went all over the place it's the first time I've done this so um, leave your comments below down here somewhere um, you know and uh, while we're here um, a big shout out to Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers um, thank you for uh, allowing me to cosplay as you at London Comic Con um, a few weeks ago uh, that was great fun um, I'm kind of doing the Jeremy look today as well um, yeah, so let me know what you think and um, I will talk to you soon.